100, James Madison, lightest of them all. Next, Andrew Jackson, 140, though over six feet tall. Frank the Pierce, 144, Coolidge, 148. Then press number two, John Adams, 150 is his weight. Ulysses Grant, 156, what he was known to be. On the scale, Jimmy Carter weighed in at 160. Now Ben Harrison and John Tyler both were 116. William Henry Harrison just two pounds more, you see. 164 is what Martin Van Buren then weighed. Harry Truman, 167, at that weight he stayed. Next Woodrow Wilson, 170's where the needle stopped. Zachary Taylor, same as Woodrow, who he could not top. Scales show the results of how they lived and what they ate. These the USA presidents and their compounded weight. Ike weighed 170, wondering his presidency. The poundage of JFK and Harding, 173. Andrew Johnson, Fillmore, Polk, and Jefferson really had the same weight, 174 coincidentally. And Nixon, Hayes, Quincy, Adams, plus Washington all had a weight of 175, though that may have ranged a tad. Up next, Joe Biden, 178, the scale said. Then Lincoln and Obama hit 180's what I read. James Garfield's weight stood at 184. Ronald Reagan 185 like the day before. 187 Herbert Hoover style displayed. 188's what FDR without braces weighed. Scales show the results of how they lived and what they ate. These the USA presidents and their compounded weight. The scale at James Monroe's place read 189. Gerald Ford 190 and at that weight felt just fine. Bush 43 191 196 his dad. Buchanan sat at 198 on the scale he had. 199 was the weight of William McKinley. Where Lyndon Johnson, one pound more, two hundred pounds was he. Now Teddy Roosevelt was to ten as head of state. Bill Clinton pegged at 223 from what he ate. Chester Arthur, 224 was his no mistake. 239 was Trump's could all be from fast food intake. 260 Grover Cleveland, his home food wasn't lacking. Last half 340, probably a metabolism thing. 